Hello everyone, it's Judy and you're welcome to Smart Boy Series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Galaxy Fit 3. This is the Galaxy Fit 3. This is the Galaxy Fit 2, which was released in 2019. This is a very lightweight and compact smart band that is well equipped to track your daily activities and as well keep you updated when you receive a message on your phone. It also has a long battery life that lets you go multiple days from a single charge. The Galaxy Fit 3 needs your phone to work. So once you receive this, the first thing you need to do is to connect this to your phone using the Galaxy Wearable app. I have already done a video on how to set this up. Click on the card that appears on the screen right now to learn how to do that. So guys, the first thing we're going to do here is to do a simple walkthrough of the user interface. This has a 1.6 inches AMOLED display. As you can see, the display looks quite adorable. When you swipe up from the whole screen, it takes you to the list of apps. We have a couple of apps here. We have the Samsung Health, the Media Controller. We have Find My Phone. We have Weather. We have Calendar timer, alarm, stopwatch, word clock, calculator, remote camera control, and the settings app. Okay, if I go to the settings app here and I go to display, from here I can adjust the display brightness. I can also choose to turn on or turn off adaptive brightness. Interestingly, the Galaxy Fit 3 now has an ambient light sensor that automatically regulates the display. And below that we have the always on display option and raise wrist to wake and we go further down we have the touch screen to wake i'm going to toggle this on and you can choose to customize the screen timeout and all of that i'll go to this i'm going to leave this at 30 seconds for this video and when you swipe down from the home screen you get to assess the quick panel section you can customize this simply go to the galaxy web app and tap on quick panel from here, you can choose to remove any of this. I'm going to tap on the minus icon to remove this. And to pull this back, just simply tap on the plus icon. And you can also adjust the position. Simply press and hold, then drag this. Okay. And once you're done, tap on save. And this will customize the quick panel section. And when you swipe left from the home screen, you get to assess your list of ties. Okay. And this can also be customized if i go to the galaxy web app and i go to ties here i have the option to add more ties just simply tap on any of this and you can adjust the position simply um, press and hold then drag this and once you're done tap on save and you have customized the number of ties you have and when you swipe right from the home screen you get to assess your notifications this is where all of the messages and missed calls will appear. And to go back to the previous screen, simply swipe right. To go back to the home screen from any screen, simply press on the side button. The side button can also be customized. Simply go to the Glassy Web app, go to band settings, and scroll down and locate advanced features. And from advanced features here, locate the double press option. I have set this to open the calculator app. You can choose any other app of your choice okay i'm going to choose samsung um, health and when i double press this it's going to open samsung health this is what you get moving on guys let's talk about changing and downloading watch faces to the galaxy fit 3. the galaxy fit 3 here comes with a couple of very interesting watch faces which are on board the device and you also get a long list of watch faces that you can download to the band. To change the watch face is very easy. Simply press and hold onto the home screen to highlight the current watch face. Then scroll through to choose another watch face of your choice. I'll simply go with this one. And if you wish to download more watch faces to the band, simply go to the Galaxy Web app, go to watch faces. And from here, you can see that we have a long list of different watch faces. Um, I'll simply go with, uh, I'll simply go with this. Now tap on add and this will be downloaded to the Galaxy Fit 3. Moving on guys, let's enable notifications for our preferred apps. Enabling notifications will allow you to get an alert when there's an incoming call or a message is received on your phone. And to do this, I will simply go to the Galaxy Wearable app and I'll tap on band settings here and I'll go to notifications. And from here, you get the option app notifications. If I go to app notifications here, I can choose the list of apps I want to receive notifications from. So go ahead and toggle on 
the apps you want to receive notifications from now once you have done that simply go back and below that we have a list of other options show notifications on band even when the phone is in use i had to enable this just for this particular video but it is recommended to turn this off to conserve battery okay i will simply go back and below that you have the option to mute notifications on your phone you also have the option to sync do not disturb on the band with that of the phone and you also have the advanced settings here here you have the option to turn on notification indicator when you toggle this on when you get a new message you will see an orange icon at this point and you also have other options yeah so go ahead and make your adjustments that is how you can enable notifications for the galaxy fit tree moving on guys the galaxy fit tree is also equipped to track your steps your calories your heart rate your stress your blood oxygen as well as your sleep in all four stages you need to customize this and to do this i will simply go to the galaxy web app and i will tap on band settings and I'll go to Samsung Health, okay? Now from here, I can customize the health tracking features of the Galaxy Fit 3. The first option we have there is the heart rate option, okay? You can choose to continuously measure your heart rate. You can also choose to measure your heart rate intermittently or manually. If you want to conserve battery life, you can leave this at the default. And below that, we have the option to enable high and low heart rate alert you can go ahead and make your adjustments for these two options and if you move on you have the option to customize the stress monitoring function of the band the band can monitor your stress level continuously if you wish to conserve battery you can leave this at the manual option furthermore you have the option to customize the sleep function if i go to sleep here you can choose to track your blood oxygen during sleep. The Galaxy Fit 3 here can also measure your blood oxygen on demand. If you go to the Samsung Health app here and you go to blood oxygen, you can measure your blood oxygen at any moment of your choice. And below the blood oxygen tracking function during sleep, you have the option to enable snore detection. If you toggle this on, you need to make sure that your phone is very close to your pillowcase. This will allow the Galaxy Fit 3 to record snoring during sleep one other tip you need to make sure that your phone is fully charged if you wish to track your snoring with the galaxy fit 3 now once you're done with that below that we have the option to enable auto detect the galaxy fit 3 can auto detect a select number of activities you have walking running elliptical trainer rowing machine pool swim and dynamic workers so go ahead and toggle that on if you wish to automatically detect and track your select activities moving on guys the galaxy fit tray also features for detection when your phone is nearby and the galaxy fit tray here detects a hard fall it will automatically send a message with your location to a preset contact to set this up simply go to band settings now locate safety and emergency and tap on it and you can see where you have the option to enter your medical info this is what the first responders are going to see and if you go back once you're done entering your medical info go ahead and tap on emergency contact now from here you can choose a contact that you wish to receive a message when a fall is detected i'll simply tap on this now, once you're done with that, go ahead and toggle on emergency SOS. Also, go ahead and toggle on hard fall detection. And if you tap on this, you will have the option to choose when to detect falls. Okay, you have the option to detect falls always. Um, for seniors, the first option is recommended. You also have the option to detect falls during physical activity and only during workers. So go ahead and make your selection. So that is how you can set up fall detection on the Galaxy Fit 3. Moving on guys, and just in case you wish to reset the band, it is also very easy. Let's say you want to give out the band or you want to start things afresh. I'll simply swipe off from the home screen. This will take me to the settings um, option. Locate the settings option, tap on it and go to general. Now from here, you can see the option to reset the band. You have the option to back up your data before the setting and tap on reset and the band will restore to factory default. You can also do this from the Galaxy wearable app. If you go to band settings here, and you go to 
general and you go to reset tap on reset and the band will restore to factory default moving on guys the galaxy fit 3 comes with a 20 mm wide strap and interestingly this can be swapped okay this is the strap that came with my galaxy fit 3 you can see that this is silicon it looks quite polished but just in case you wish to swap out the the band simply press this button in and then pull out the band okay pull out the band and to fix this back i'll just simply align this with the holes and push it back in you should hear a snap which indicates that this is properly fixed i'll do this for the second band i'll simply press on this and i'll pull this up so that is how you can swap the band of the galaxy fit 3. last but not the least i'll show you how to charge the galaxy fit 3. the galaxy fit 3 comes with a dual pin magnetic charger as you can see this needs to be aligned to the two points at the back of the band with the side um, called here facing the side of the button now once this is aligned properly it should snap to the back as you can see the second part of the charger is a usb type c port this needs to be plugged into a usb type c port with output option i normally use my laptop to charge this okay i'm going to put this in and once this is plugged in you can see that the band is charging all right one thing you should know is that the charger here is maxed out at 5 volts so just in case you don't have a laptop with a usb type c port you can still plug this to any other option with a usb type c power output so guys that is it for this video that is how to use the galaxy fit 3 just in case this is your first time using a galaxy wearable device and that is it for this video thank you for watching this video if you find this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed please smash the subscribe button and of course do not forget to turn on the notification bell to always get updates from me whenever i upload a video like this until next time guys goodbye